A couple of my subscribers had wanted me to do a video about this story right here involving this man named Cody Wilson. And what you're seeing that what he's holding in his hand is called a 3D printed gun. And this is some kind of invention that he came up with. While that's all good and all and whatnot for his base and whoever he's some who he's trying to sell this to, this guy has bigger problems on his hand. He pulled a Roman Polanski. Literally, that's exactly what he did. When I'm looking at this story, that's exactly what he did. So, Cody Wilson is 30 years old, and he had sexual relations with a minor meaning a child under the age of 18 and when it got discovered of what he did he fled the united states he fled the establishment and went all the way to taiwan he got discovered by the taiwanese taiwanese police and he was extradited back to the states where he is now currently in jail now, I'm going to go ahead and read this article coming from the Huff Post. And it was dated September 23rd, but it has since then been updated. It says a Texas man running a 3D printed guns company was booked into a Houston jail on a charge of sexual assault on a, on Sunday after Taiwanese police, I'm sorry, officials sent him back to the United States where he was accused of having sex with an underage girl. Now, that's why I say he pulled the Roman Polanski, because that's exactly what Roman Polanski did back in the day. Cody Wilson, age 30, flew to Taiwan after learning he was under investigation, police said, and was picked up by Taiwanese, Taiwanese authorities on Friday after his U.S. passport was annulled. He was deported to the United States on Saturday. He was booked into Harris County Jail in Houston on Sunday, according to the jail's website. Wilson's attorney, S Sammy Khalil, said in a statement late on Sunday, we are glad that Cody is back in Texas again where we can work with him on his case. That's our focus right now, representing our client and preparing his defense. Of course, they're preparing his defense, even though he fled the establishment after, you know, after finding out he was under investigation. That Him fleeing the establishment makes him even more guilty, in my opinion. As the founder of Defense Distributed, Wilson became a notable figure in the U.S. debate over guns after the company posted on the Internet the blueprints for plastic guns that can be made with a 3D printer. The files could previously be downloaded for free, but a federal judge issued a nationwide injunction last month that blocked the posting of the blueprints online. Wilson was placed under investigation after a counselor told authorities on August 22nd, a 16-year-old girl, says she was paid $500 to have sex with Wilson at an Austin hotel. Investigators later interviewed the girl and obtained a warrant for Wilson's arrest on Wednesday, but by then he had caught a flight to Taiwan. Oh, I didn't even realize I had pressed the record button. I, this new computer that I have is so sensitive that this thing will cut off in an instant. But you know what? Let me go ahead and read that last part just in case that was one of the parts that was cut off. I said police, it said police said at the time they were aware Wilson traveled often for business, but that it was not clear why he had flown to Taiwan. I'll tell you why he flew to Taiwan. He probably thought that he could get some kind of immunity there and not have to be extradited back to the States. The fact that he left makes it even more suspicious. See, if he had stayed, then maybe there could have been room for reasonable doubt of what he was accused of, but the fact that he fled the establishment lets you know he probably did have some kind of relations with this girl, just like Roman Polanski did back in the day when he was having those relations with that underage girl, and he ended up leaving, and I forgot what country he went to. So in my eyes, by him, <clears throat> excuse me, by him doing this, he's guilty. And then I was also let I was also uh, um, informed by another one of my subscribers concerning this story where you had people that who have a complete disdain towards Bill Cosby say they believe that this guy was set up by this girl. Now, I thought they were all about finding justice for victims of sexual assault and rape and whatnot. And I'm willing to bet some of them probably were the Me Too heifers. And them times up skanks. But because it's a white guy 
then somehow it just can't possibly be, even though him leaving and fleeing the way that he did makes it look makes him look a whole lot more guilty opposed to if he had stayed. And like I said, if he had stayed during this investigation and didn't leave, then it would have been room for reasonable doubt. And they're going to try to use the whole, oh, he travels a lot for business angle to try to probably most likely get him off. But who knows what will come out of this. But we know how a lot of this stuff goes down. We've seen many cases where uh, white males, especially young white males, can do stuff like this. And they'll find a way to make it go away. Look at Brock Turner, even though in the most recent developments with him, they decided to not remove the sexual assault charges or the sex offender uh, title label off of his record, which I'm glad they didn't, because then that means he would have complete, been completely free of with he, of his dirty and sordid past. Although he's not in jail and he should be. But who knows what the outcome of this guy is going to be. Like I said, he's based out of Texas. He did something involving guns. I always said that, that Texas was the NRA's favorite state. And I will always stand by that statement. But y'all let me know what you think about this story down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. The link to the article and my contacts will be in the description. The links to the shirts will be pinned down below. I'll talk to you in the next one.